Hello, my name is Selim Kilonzo and I'm the media director for Angaza Young Moms. Angaza Young Moms is a community-based organization that was founded out of deep passion and the urgent need to assist young girls who find themselves pregnant at an early age. My most exciting project was we had a girl that was defiled by a, fam a close family members and we have been able to support this girl through that traumatic experience. We all know that is a traumatic experience to a child. So we have been able to help her go through that process. And right now she's doing well and she's back to school, even though she, she got pregnant due to the defilement. But at least right now we are catering for the child and she's, she went back to school and we are hoping that she has a bright future ahead. At Maono, I met many other CBOs and this has really expanded my thinking capacity because we change ideas and we come together and we form as one family whereby when you have a problem you can share it someone else and someone else is willing to help you. So it creates such a bond that you do not have to have a burden of thinking or of stressing yourself about something where you can share it here. And we thank Maono because it's such a good space whereby it's building as teenagers and as young people in Kilifi County. We have, we have got some capacity building that we attended and through those capacity building, I am glad to say that it really enlightened me a lot and I used what I learned there to evaluate and to move about my daily basis in the organization because as an organization, we didn't know how to raise funds or how to go to people to help us or support us. But through these capacity buildings, we are able now to go out there, ask for people to help us and even make friends because it's all about fun making, friend making and to move forward as a group. Well, at Yangas Young Moms, we believe that second chances are always there because this group was founded by someone who was a victim herself and through someone who believed in her, she was given a second chance. And we want to hold our hands so that we can support these girls and give them a safe haven where they are able to go about their daily lives knowing that there are people out there who care for them. Thank you.